energetic self. Um, lots of times people think of clearing energy and they totally think of just clearing my house. Like I need to physically clear my house. I need to energetically clear it by smudging, but people often forget about themselves and they forget about how energy impacts us. So when we do clearing your energetic self, I actually teach people some protection, um, spiritual protection, and I teach them how to cleanse and clear their energy. We, uh, I introduce them to cord cutting. If they've never done that, take them through an exercise to actually visualize cords that they have with other people, close off and cut those cords so that they are best able to really function and not be dragged down by everybody's stuff. Lots of time, especially with empaths, and there's a lot of empathic people out there. You're tuned into other people's energy. You don't know why you get depressed or maybe you're anxious. And so often it's not even about our stuff. It's because we're connected to somebody else and we're picking up somebody else's stuff. So with clearing your energetic self, it is about protection and then energy clearing and then refocusing back on protection <laughs> so that you go out clean and ready to take on the world.